We've come a long way. How does a break sound? Great idea! All this type... Oh, are you all out of candy? I've got some more if you... Whoa, you're practically a walking... I just like bringing a lot of stuff with me. As my mom always says, it pays to be prepared. They only come in handy every so often. <laughs> huh? Is everything okay, Traveler? Seems like you've got... Yeah, that was so weird. It had... Actually, you know what? It could be because our Archon is different from the rest. Different how? Well, I heard that other nations Archons live a long time and belong to a class of extremely powerful beings known as God. And that's not... Not at all. Every Pyral Archon in Natlan was an ordinary person before taking on the role. Huh? A human serving as an Archon? Is that even possible? You find it hard to believe, too, huh? So, that's not normal, then? I get Well, based on what we've seen, that's not usually how it works. It can't be that easy for a human to become an Archon. Pretty sure the Pyro Archon's the only one who can answer that. I do know this, though. Even after becoming the Pyro Archon, the person in the position still grows old and requires rest. The statue of the Seven may look a lot like our current Archon, but that has to be a coincidence. Countless- Oh, I should also mention, the pilgrimage is actually how we select the Pyro Archon. Anyone can claim the title, you just have to- So the contest is all about- That's right! We Our current Archon achieved an overwhelming victory. Don't just take my word for it, though. Even the tribe elders said they've never seen an Archon, but it's just as Chief Pakal said. Today's limits are tomorrow's breakthroughs. Our future Archons will go from strength to strength. Okay, Paimon's gonna ignore the whole human becoming an Archon thing. If we think back to what happened in Inazuma... I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> Our Archon's a wonderful person and... Yeah, you're right. It's not like we're planning on causing trouble. It'll all work out. He'll meet... All right, Paimon's just about ready to... Oh, we call this a phlogiston chislet. Good things happen if you infuse it with phlogiston. Uh, sorry to disappoint, but... lively today. Did the chisel floor you over here? <laughs> Warm, isn't it? Oh, so it was just a friendly Saurian. That's right. There's quite a few of them around here, and Toto's the friendliest and gentlest of the... He's always hanging around these parts. I swear he does it just to show off to any outlanders that might come this way. Don't let his size fool you. Uh... That's an invitation. He's offering us a... Um... Paimon's not so sure about this. It's kind of scary. Oh, good point. <laughs> you guys have fun. Wow. The sightseeing is even better from up here. The higher the vantage point, the better the view. Are you in Toto close, Kachina? Yep. When I was little, my parents and I went to the Stadium of the Sacred Flame to buy a bunch of different fruits, but the car we were using to transport them flipped over on our way back. Toto wasn't even half his current size back then, but I still burst into tears when I saw him approach. I was afraid he was going to eat all the berries and sunsetias and leave none left for me. In the end, though, he didn't eat a single one and even chased off a few other Saurians looking to snatch a few for themselves. After that, he used his big head to help get our cart right side up again. I've been bringing him fruit ever since. Oh, and I was the one that named him Tote. With the sheer amount of food he can eat, he pretty much grew like a weed. Before I knew it, he was already this big. Oh, 
Look over there! That's our destination! You can let us off here, Toto. Thanks for the lip. It's an easy walk from here, so I say we head the rest of the way on foot. That's true, especially considering you. Here. Open your eyes, Slowpoke! We've been here this entire time. I've already lost track of how long you've kept us waiting. Listen here, you. It's not just Kanish and Mulani's time you're wasting, but mine, too! What the heck? That's a strange-looking Saurian. Or, wait, is it even a Saurian? Take it down a notch, all right? You don't even know some of these people. Just because Kachina's too nice to get mad at you doesn't give you an excuse to be rude to her. And what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> you think you're the boss of... Hey! Oh, what do you think you're doing?! Alright, I've put him in a timeout for now. Sorry about that. Aw, you didn't have to do that. Hal just doesn't have much of a filter, that's all. Eh, he got what he deserved. Let's just hope the lesson sticks this time. <laughs> Mulani, there you are. Looks like you made some new friends. And here I was worried you ran into trouble. Hello, Paimon's Paimon. A traveler, you say? You came at the perfect time. The pilgrimage is a sight to behold this time of year. I don't see your teammates with you, Kachina. Oh, uh, they went to join teams with a better chance at winning. So you're saying you've been ditched? <sighs> That might give them an advantage during the team stage, but it all comes down to individual- Yeah, well, the outcome of the team stage- Hey now, there's not a single person here that can promise their team victory. Besides, you're not lacking in strength at all. You just need- You were only three victories short of reaching the Night Warden Wars last time. Wait, so if the pilgrimage is like a national sporting competition, then- The former is a battle of skill, a war against our eternal enemy. The Abyss. So they're here t Whoa, wait a second. You're saying the prize for winning the pilgrimage is the chance to go to war? That's not too far off. That's why it's called the Night Warden Wars. The pilgrimage chooses the strongest warriors among the tribes. And those warriors fight to repel the Abyss in defense of our homeland. Their names and deeds are then recorded in epic tales passed down over time. That is the highest- Yes, but that's the nature of war. Danger comes with the territory. Resisting the Abyss is our duty. But we're not alone in this fight. We also have the blessing of our Archon, which allows for our safe return. It's something we call the Ode of Resurrection. Resurrect people, you mean? Yep. So it's not so scary, really. Our Archon's Let's go register. We don't have- Wait, what about you, Kachina? You're not really planning on comp- We really wish we could help, but we're not from here, so it doesn't- There's no threshold to the number of participants. With the sheer number of teams, it's practically guaranteed. No matter how strong or experienced the war- In a situation like that, it's always better to have- Oh, how about this? When we register, why don't we ask if these two can have special permission to participate? Odds are the answer will be no, so if that doesn't work, well... I only have a few teammates this time. You're not asking me to lead your team, are you? 
Look at you, mind reader. So, what do you- Fine by me, but doesn't that leave you and Kachina as a team of two? <laughs> There's a world of difference between- I bet our new friends here will agree that two's always better- Oh, you mean us? <laughs> You're right! Two is definitely better than one! It's just like the old saying we have here in Natlin. But, what if- Listen to yourself. You'd be hard-pressed to find someone in Natlin who can beat up. <laughs> Hearing- <sighs> Still, teams rarely contain more than one ancient name-bearer. People are definitely gonna think of us as cowards. The rules don't forbid it, so who cares what they- It's not like they left us any other- Well, I'll leave you to break the news to your soon-to-be former teammate. Oh, I know. They uh, just give me a second, you guys. This is the place. Let's wait for Mulani here. Did you see the flags at the front gate when we- Oh yeah. There were- Those are our tribal flags. One for each of the six tribes that make up Natlan. Why the sudden tour guide route? <laughs> I said I'd introduce them to Natlan, and we- Fair enough. <clears throat> well, I'm from the Scions of the Canopy. We live high in the mountains and have the closest ties to the Yumkasaurs. My friend Mualani belongs to the people of the Springs, a seaside tribe. The scenery over there is beautiful. That just leaves the Flower Feather Clan, the Masters of the Nightwind, and the Collective of Plenty. If we get a chance after the pilgrimage, we'll... Well, if we're talking tribes, allow me to stand in for our chief and welcome you on behalf of the people... Mualani, you're back! Everything's settled on my end. My they probably just didn't see any drawback. We're saying the same thing here. You, my fr Hello there. Here to register? That's right. I wanted to ask, though. These two travelers are very interested in the competition. I'm sorry, but only people from- You couldn't make an exception just this once? This traveler is a renowned adventurer. He's more than skilled at- It's not that simple, Miss Mulani. Even a single exception sets a dangerous precedent for countless interested part- The purpose of the pilgrimage is not only to select strong warriors, but also to collect- This is the fire that fuels the sacred flame. Natlan is only safe from the invasion of the Abyss, while the sacred flame- Oh, so there's another- That was the initial purpose of every participant, whether they win or lose, can contrib- Exactly right, Mr. Kanich. Contend Outlander participation wouldn't- Oh, so it all comes down to the contending fire. Well, you can still- That would be great! Bill, there's something Paimon was wondering, actually. <laughs> you read Paimon's mind, Traveler. Why doesn't everyone just fight together? You know- The power of resurrection has its limits. For starters, the Ode only works- That's also why ordinary people who emerge victorious in the pilgrimage aren't sent to fight the Abyss. It's for their own protection. Although, they're still afforded the same honor as those who triumph over the Abyss and- That brings us to the other condition for resurrection. Not much to this one act- Victory! The victors shall burn bright. While the lose- Only those who triumph over the Abyss earn the right to be revived. Defeat in battle not only means death, but also the destruction of your ancient name. Per the tales of the vanquished are eventually forgotten, and an ancient name cannot survive when the stories of its bearers are lost. Yeah, they won, right? Isn't it the defeated ones who need revival? You have to think about it at the team level. Even if four of them were- Because every victory is a- Of course, the team needs- That's why the first- No one fights alone. Well, that axiom- Danger is always- Not to mention- I've actually fallen in battle before. I spent some time wandering the realm of the Wyab. It was unlike anything I'd ever ex- The realm of the Wyab? Does that mean the Wyab exists? Hard to say. The realm's not somewhere you can access by ordinary means, and very few people are capable of establishing a mental connection- We call this realm the Night Kingdom. The fact that you were resurrected at all is the worst thing in the world. Then releasing you from your timeout has got to come in at a close second. <laughs> you would do well to speak with reverence of the almighty dragon, Lord Kahula How! <laughs> Lest you live to regret it. If you're done arguing, <laughs> your registration... Huh. 
It all went fairly quickly, considering we all know each other. Now, I just need... In the meantime, you can all go rest at the hotel. Nice. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. All food and entertainment before tomorrow's matches are family and friends included. Dig in, you guys. Eat as much as you want. There's more where this came from, too, so don't be shy. Don't be dramatic. The Pyro Archon is very generous, even if it does cause... Speaking of trouble, I've locked a how away for now, so you don't have to worry... Wait, isn't that a little... Nah, Kenich and a how are always like that. Everyone has their own unique way... Aww. What's got you all down in the dumps, Kachina? I know, I know. I can't keep you... I have to prove... You don't have to prove anything to anyone. If they don't think you deserved, trust me, Kachina. I just hope it's not the fact... Yeah, I'm on a seven or eight pilgrimage losing streak. My ranking has been improving little by little, but still no wins. To be honest, losing seven or eight times isn't even a lot. Maybe other people can't see your improvement, but your performance still isn't something to scoff at. Yeah, didn't you say you got really close before? It's just... What if I don't even make it through the team stage this time? Hey, have a little faith, will you? You've got me on your team! Stumble, and I'll be there to get you back on your feet. Run into someone you can't beat, and we'll face them together! I know you've never tasted... Lilani, I trust you. I still don't know why the lie, but... I can't be the only bear who's ever felt this way. If they can keep at it, so can I. Not to mention, the fact that your ancient name has survived until now means all your... Otherwise, it would be lost. That's right! And you'll have us rooting for you. No, no, no. It could still... I'll win this time. Oh, right. I should eat. Nice to see your game. Thanks for encouraging her, you two. Don't you worry. We take it easy. I I'll pour you all some drinks. I pro She even travels with homemade juice? <laughs> Kachina's backpack is practically a bottomless pit. <sighs> That's true, but she definitely only offered us some so she could go find somewhere to- Seems like you two really- She's like a little sister to me, and I have a feeling this- Why are you so sure- Oh, no, no. Mulani's being modest. She's already a three-time veteran of- what? Nah, it's no big... Either way, the challenges haven't been... Paimon gets it! That's how Paimon and the Traveler are, too. Hey, a little more confidence, please! Drinks are here! <laughs> better try them while they're still fresh. Feeling better now, could you... Me? <laughs> I'm totally fine. I'm gonna get some meat in my system, then head out to get some... I'll come with you. Just don't go overboard, okay? <laughs> it... All right, fine. Attaboy. I need... So full... <sighs> So sleepy. We should get a good night's sleep before the competition tomorrow. Paimon's still a little worried about Kachina. Maybe we can help her out with her training.